Hi, I'm Jason Debley. Tonight's whiskey review is a single malt Scotch whiskey from the Isla region of Scotland. And when you hear the words Isla, you should think peat and smoke. Famous distilleries from Isla include Lafrag, uh, Ardbeg, Lagavulin. Lafrag and Ardbeg are big dog, big peat, big smoke, uh, single malt scotches. But tonight we're going to visit Bowmore, and we're going to try the Bowmore 18 year old. I have it right here. What's interesting about the Bowmore is that the wood management is Oloroso sherry cask and ex bourbon casks, American white oak. And that's a bit different for Isla because Isla is famous for, like I say, the big peat, the big smoke. But with Bowmore, because they use a lot of Oloroso sherry casks in the wood management, you get a lot of red fruit, um, red licorice, raspberries, strawberries, a very fruit forward Bordeaux wine kind of note to it. Okay, price point. Bowmore 18 is quite affordable compared to other 18 year old single malt scotches. Uh, Highland Park, for example, is sub sig significantly more expensive. Closure is a cork stopper. We've got some artificial color going on, E150A. Uh, chill filtration also, which is unfortunate in an 18 year old single malt. Chill filtration, I need to do a video on that. Um, it essentially takes away the esters, um, a chemical compound that really can, can contribute to flavor. Alcohol by volume, 43%. The phenolic level in Bowmore is a lot less than in Ardbeg or Lagavulin, not Lagavulin, but um, Lafrag. I'm not sure about Lagavulin. But Bowmore 18 is peated a lot less. It's about 35 parts per million or 36 parts per million. Like I said, the wood management is a combination of sherry cask, Oloroso sherry, and American white oak that previously held bourbon. I kind of jumped to the palate, but I really should comment on the nose. This was launched in 2007. The 18-year-old replaces the 17-year-old before that. And uh, so since 2007, we have the 18-year-old on the nose. It's peated, but you have oranges, damp wood, fall leaves. It's earthen, but it's not your typical Isla. It's not in-your-face smoke, bacon, kippers, sea brine. It's, it's much more restrained. It's fragrant. So I'm getting sherry, light smoke. It's nice. It's not overly complex for an 18 year old single malt. I kind of expect more, but the price point is very affordable. Okay, on the palate, it's initially sweet. It become it transitions to becoming dry on the finish. But you're greeted by, as again as again I say, very fruit forward uh, strawberries, raspberries, watermelon. The sherry influence of the wood management dominates the ex bourbon casks, and it also dominates the peat and the smoke. For an Isla, this is the most restrained Isla I've ever tasted. Rosewood, red currants, cranberry, 
And the finish is where you get more smoke, more tobacco, Arturo Fuente, Queen Bee Cigar. It's balanced. It's good. There's really nothing wrong with this. There's a maltiness to it's a real melding of sherry and peat in a good way that works. But the peat, the sherry dominates the peat. I think it's a good introduction to Isla Whiskey. The price point makes it attractive to give as a gift to somebody. Um, now in a peer review compared to say Highland Park 18, Bowmore 18 comes up short because Bowmore 18 is not as complex as Highland Park 18. Quite good. Recommended at the price point. Bowmore 18-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. Give it a try. Thank you for tuning in. Cheers.